Alright, so in the last video we wrote a handy dandy little Python script that makes use of the imgur Python uh, library that allows us to extract some cool information from the front page of imgur, like the image link, title, views, whatever. And we also wrote a nice little series of lines here that allows us to extract what is the image with uh, the most amount of views on the front page. Cool, cool stuff. So what we're going to do now is we're going to step through authentication. So authentication is kind of a prerequisite step that we'll need in order for us to upload content to an Imgur uh, album. So in order for us to write a program that Imgur trusts, we need to authenticate that program using the Imgur client API. And uh, that's what this video is going to be um, based on. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our folder here where we have our stuff, create a new file and I'm going to call this auth.py. You can call it whatever you like, but I'm just calling it auth.py. I'm going to open that up and we're going to start writing our authentication stuff. So first what I'm going to do is, where is my cursor? There it is, from uh, imgur python. Let's import imgur clients like we did last time. Also I'm going to import config parser and this is going to allow us to extract um, the username, password, these sorts of things, just like we did before. And I'm going to write a function called authenticate. And in here, what I'm going to do is first, uh, if I go back to the file here that we created in the first video, I'm just going to copy these lines here and paste them over into authenticate. So again, just to refresh, all that these lines are doing is we're creating a config parser object. We're reading that auth.ini file that we created in the previous video and we're obtaining the client ID and the client secret and we're popping that into this uh, into this call to imgur client and that's pretty much all that we're doing. So uh, one thing that I wanted to mention before I forget and I apologize for not mentioning this in the first video, please forgive me. Uh, at the end of the auth.ini, we're going to want to add a single line. So this file here, I won't open it up in this uh, video because there's, um, I guess, my client secret and also my username and password for Imgur. So I guess it would be bad practice to display that in a video. So I'm just going to request that you add the following line called refresh underscore token equal as the last line in your uh, auth.ini script. If you could do that, I would be most obliged. Thank you, and I'm sorry for having to uh, push that to the second video. My apologies. Anyway, so once you've had that uh, change to your auth.ini file, we're going to proceed with our authentication script. So the other thing that I want to grab from this credentials file, if you remember, is we put in our imgur username and password. So I'm going to extract those as well. So imgur username is equal to Kind of the same thing that we're doing up here, getting them from the uh, from the auth.ini file. Only now we're pulling from imgur username, and I also want to extract imgur password. So if you don't have an account, now would be a good time to make one and put the credentials into that file. Uh, and we're going to be using this because we'll need to log into our um, our imgur uh, our imgur account in order to extract some authentication information. So, okay, so we've extracted the client ID, secret, imgur username, and password. And now what I want you to do is say author authorization URL is equal to client.git uh, gert, git auth URL pin. So what this is going to do is this is going to um, store this authorization URL into this variable here and it's going to specifically request a pin which Imgur is going to provide to us and that will be something that we can provide to verify that hey our application did indeed receive this pin, you can trust this application and we can proceed with our authentication. So let me just um, let me print out this authorization URL so that way you can see what this looks like authorization URL and let me actually run this function here. So if I run this uh, we see that running this command here gives us a specific URL and indeed if we open this thing here let's see um, Right, so if we open this thing here, we have a page that opens up to this pin number, and all we need to do is copy this pin number 
And what we're going to do specifically is we're going to automatically extract that pin number and we're going to provide that to our application so that way everything is good to go. So uh, what we're going to do to do that is we're going to use Selenium. Selenium is a web automation tool for Python that will allow us to automatically log in to Imgur, which you didn't see the login script because I'm already logged in. Uh, it, it will need to log into Imgur automatically using the credentials we provided it. It will then need to automatically extract this information here and then provide it to our application. So we're going to use Selenium for that, which I mentioned before. And if you're not familiar with Selenium, uh, if you want more information, I have a couple of videos on that, which I can link to in the description below. Uh, I have a video on how to install it and also a little bit more about it as well. There's also some excellent documentation on Selenium on the web as well. So please, um, you know, if you do have any comments or questions about it, don't hesitate to ask me either in the comments. So let me get rid of this uh, print statement here and I'm going to import Selenium. And specifically what I'm going to do is I'm going to import a couple things that we'll need from Selenium. So I went and copied these things from another file. And if you don't want to just sit there and copy these down, I don't blame you. I've uploaded uh, all of this content that I'll be writing for this entire series, indeed all my videos, uh, all of the content is uploaded to my GitHub page. I'll link to that below as well if you don't want to just sit there and type this out. Um, but basically what this is doing is just importing Selenium, which again is the web automation tool we will use to extract this content. Uh, some of this other stuff, keys, this is used to send information. Uh, so we'll be using that to send a username and password. Web driver wait, that just waits for a certain event to happen. We'll kind of see what these things do as we use them. So anyway, without further ado, let's proceed and do that. So let me just delete this line here because we don't need it. And I'm going to say driver is equal to webdriver.firefox, Firefox, uh, let's see, like that. And then I'm going to say driver.git authorization URL. So specifically, this is going to open up an instance of the Firefox browser, and it's going to open this page here. So if I run this, let me just run this again. Uh, let's see, it doesn't know. No module Serenium, and it's probably because I have no idea what that was copied from. Sorry about that. Okay, so it's Selenium, not Sprolenium. Uh, if I run this now, that should open up a Firefox browser. Uh, indeed, it does, and it navigates to that web page, and we are presented with this hurdle, which is we need to automatically log in. So we need to provide the Imgur username and password here, hit this allow button get our pin and then we're, we should be good to go. So the way that we're going to extract this or essentially send this information to this thing is we're going to take a look at what this is all about. So if I right click on the username uh, box there and say inspect element, I see that Imgur says that the ID of this thing is called username and I bet the ID of this thing is called password. So this is going to be something that we can use to um, find these forms on this page and then send information to each of these fields. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll also see what this button corresponds to. Uh, the ID of this button is allow. So we'll be using that information to talk to the form elements on this page. Let me, let me show you what I mean. So what we're going to do is we're going to say username is equal to driver.findElement by xpath. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put the xpath of the ID of the username. So in that case, that's preceded by two slashes, star uh, at sign ID equal to username. And the double quotes here for username and, and the square bracket. And the password, as we saw, the ID of password is also just password. So I'm going to say password is equal to this element by xpath. Replace this with password. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, username.sendkeys. Imgur username. And then password.sendkeys imgur password. So what's going on here? So basically the driver is opening up an instance of the Firefox browser 
it's navigating to that web page, and then I'm saying, find for me the fields, in this case by the XPath, uh, find for me the ones that have the ID of username, and find for me the one that has the ID of password. And these objects correspond to those fields. And then what I'm saying is I'm saying, okay, send keys, which means send this information to that field. And what am I sending it to? Or what am I sending to it, rather? Oh. What am I sending to it? The ingrate username, which is what we got from this uh, configuration file. Likewise with the password. So that's all we're doing. If we were to run this, it would open that up, it would pop those in automatically, and then that would be that. So what we want to do now is finally, as I mentioned before, if we pop open the, not that one, but this one, this idea of this button here is called allow. So we want to tell the driver to um, find element by xpath for that one as well. Actually, we'll say find element by name, and we'll say allow dot click. And what this is going to do, it's going to put all that stuff in there, and then it's going to find the button that has that name. So if I go here, I see that the name of this button right here is called allow, and it's going to click that button. So let's actually run this and see what happens. So I'm going to run this. It's going to open up a thing here, and it should automatically populate those fields. Let's see, still waiting, still waiting, still waiting. Uh, let's see, did I do anything stupid? Uh -huh. So I think I know what the problem is. I forgot to add something before here, which is username.clear. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to see if there's any information in the username field, clear it out, and then send the key. So let's try this and see if that actually works. So that should open up a Firefox browser. We got the username password being popped in. My username is Captain Hampton. Come find me at Imager. Uh, and we've got the pin displayed for us right now. Perfect. So now what we want to do is we want to extract this pin. We're still not out of the woods quite yet. Uh, we want to extract this pin and use it to our application, for our application. Right. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to say, uh, essentially, that there's, there's a bit of a hiccup where from the time that we hit the submit button to the time that we actually extract the um, pin, there might be sort of a wait time of actually hitting that and having Imgur load and getting there. So I'm going to try to have something called timeout, and I'm going to set this equal to 5. This is basically just going to be something which is kind of a safeguard to make sure that the page uh, loads before we actually try grabbing the pin number. So I'm going to say try element uh, present is equal to ec dot presence of element located. And so basically what this is going to do is this is going to wait for something to actually be present on the page. And and what I'm going to feed to it here is I'm going to say by dot id pin. So I'm waiting for the ID of this thing. I'm waiting for a page to be loaded that has an ID of pin. So this pin number has the ID pin. And I'm waiting for that to be loaded. That's really what that's saying there. So it's it's just waiting for that, checking to make sure that's actually loaded on the page. And then I'm going to say web driver wait driver timeout, which is five milliseconds in this case, until the element is present. So time out and wait for that and just wait and see if the um, ID of pin is present on the web page. And then I'm going to say pin element is equal to driver dot find element by ID pin. So what am I doing here? Well I'm if assuming that page actually loaded and the ID of that is present, I'm going to find the pin. And how am I going to find it? I'm going to find it by the ID. So the ID in this case is pin. And that's going to give me that element. So I'm, I'm kind of using this uh, find element xpath, find element name, find element ID. All of these are valid ways of ex extracting uh, content on a web page. And I'm kind of using a variety of these things just to kind of show you that you can uh, you know, get away with um, a number of these different things because sometimes the ID is not specified or maybe the name isn't specified, uh, but maybe the XPath you know, allows you to extract it. So you know, different ways of getting the same information. Uh, anyway, so we have the pin element now and I'm going to say pin is equal to uh, pin element dot get attribute value. So what is that doing? Well, if I go to the pin, 
I want the value of that, right? I want this, this is the thing I actually want. So if I look at the input ID here, I see that the value is a field, and that corresponds to exactly what the pin number is on displayed on this page, and I want to extract that. That's what I'm doing. So I'm saying get the attribute that has the name value. That is what is going to be stored in our pin. So that is all we need. And we're going to have an accept to this try. And the exception is going to be a timeout exception. And we're going to print out a message. We're going to say print timed out waiting for page to load. And then I'm going to close the driver. And then what I'm going to do is we have our pin now. Yay. So in fact, what I can do is just to verify, we can say print pin. So this is going to go through all those steps again. Open up a new browser, uh, log in, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and there's the pin. And let's see, we have a uh, pro, no, no element present of located. I may have spelled something. Oh, I think it's not present of uh, <laughs> element located. It's presence. Let's try that again. So, not present of element located, but presence. So, it's going to do this again. Log in. And there we go. There's our pin. Hooray. There it is. Oh, look at that. Very fancy. So, I'm going to close these extra Mozilla browsers so we don't have a billion of those hanging around. And now, I'm going to um, I'm going to actually pop in the pin number. So, I'm going to say credentials is equal to client to authorize, authorize uh, pin pin. So basically this authorize function is looking for something uh, with a field of pin, which is the pin number that we just got. I'm going to delete that print statement, by the way. And after that, I'm going to say client. All right, so client is dot set user auth credentials access token and also credentials and we're going to type in the credentials here, credentials, refresh, token. And then what we're going to do is we're going to print out a message to verify that we've authenticated successfully. So we'll say authentication successful, if I can spell properly. And then we're just going to return the client. And that's pretty much it. So now, if we run this, hopefully, it'll go through the motions, pop open a Firefox browser, and log in automatically. Log in automatically, there it goes. Extract the pin, authentication successful, and that is it. We have successfully authenticated. So in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to use this authentication script as a prerequisite to uploading an image to Imgur. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.